Do you see that uh, 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 Seraph's embrace has been completed for Alex Hitch? It is fully stacked up and he's working his way towards the Hourglass. So, as if it wasn't difficult enough to lock him down, it now becomes incrementally more difficult to actually kill him. Oh, it absolutely is. This is just going to be... Uh, I feel like it's going to continue to be an Alex Hitch field day unless he massively misplays. And you'll notice the sort of gameplay that Gambit are going for is they're actually playing around their cooldowns very, very well. Despite the fact that they're up 12 kills to 5. Never mind, they're going in on him. Oh, Imps in trouble. Take a look at that. Agony's embrace comes down. They're leaving the kill for Alex Hitch. He oh. even rip walks the chain of corruption. Massive play. And that's Alex Mangy picking up his 10th kill of the game. I was literally about to say that Gambit aren't taking a lot of aggressive moves there. They're playing between their cooldowns, but when you got a free kill like that, you go back to the old Gambit style of see hero, see hero kill hero. And 5v4, they can take at least a turret off of this. Well, they're going to pick up their fourth tower of the game. That is now all outer towers down. 15 seconds left in the clock before Imp is alive, and Gambit toying with the idea of mid lane, but you hear the full back ping. They're saying, let's back off, let's play it a bit safer, get away, and here's a replay of that mid-kill. And it's just easy crowd control here. They stack the slows together. Diamond knows that the Varus ult is available, and he doesn't want to get rooted in place. So let's Alex go for it. Here's the play. Sees the cast animation, sees it come out, oh, just jukes it out. I like that play from Alex. And of course, the rotation doesn't come.